PJ, that was uh, from up here. It certainly looked like a tough battle. Would you agree? Yeah, Peter, oh, it was very tough. Uh, look, give Ferns they threw everything out, they gave us everything out there. That game could have went either way. You know, as they went three points up. I think with maybe 10, 12, and we got a goal straight away. I think that was a big turning point to get back level because Ferns are kind of the team. You're only ever going to win by two or three points any day. It'll go one way or another. But as I said, it was a great game. And in terms of the championship as a whole, you've managed to win six games out of six so far. Things seem to be going fairly well. Yeah, look, that was something we said at the start of the year. The way the system is this year with the uh, hurling force and the football is very, was very hard. So, look, we concentrated on the league. We actually we didn't start training until maybe May, lads that didn't play football didn't go back till uh, June, July. So the other lads, so we concentrated on the league. We got everyone for the games. And we started from the first game of the league. We went, went through the league unbeaten. We brought it into the championship. So, look, it's been a great year so far. We're unbeaten to here, but look, there's still another two games to go. Yeah, and if you do manage to win those two games, it'll be a very memorable year for Horswood GA Club. Yeah, the lads had a great win, the hurling. We, we bring that momentum through as well, straight into the football. But I said, whoever we have in the next game is this Cushions Town or Clongeen. Again, it's going to be, on any given day, it's going to go either way. So look, we'll, we'll settle down during the week, work hard, and we'll see who we have next week. Finally, you're still going, still enjoying it? Yeah, still enjoying it. Still, look, I love it the way, as I say, look, I'm 36 now, it doesn't get any easier. But look, it's getting harder every year, especially the way the system is. As I just seen Graham's interview yesterday with, I'm hoping the Jay will do something and maybe put football first because even the likes of myself, with football only coming second, it's very hard to fully concentrate. As I said, we didn't start training, we couldn't actually train, we didn't have a practice match this year, believe it or not. Like, so we went straight into a championship with no training for 10 weeks, for eight, six or eight weeks of hurling. The lads were hurling three or four weeks before that, and rightly so. But it's so hard for football teams. You can see every, every day, every team is getting better. But I'd be hoping next year that football get a proper crack at it because, to be straight honest with you, I think Wexford football is in trouble if something's not changed because, as you can see, just playing, starting a championship in September and it's over in six weeks, you can't train because the lads are playing hurling and rightly so. But I just think it's only fair if they switch every year. Yeah, well, it'll certainly be very interesting to see what way that goes. I think you've made a, a couple of very valid points there. But the main thing is that you're in the semi-finals now and congratulations on getting there today, PJ. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Peter. Cheers.